everything is muted down. And let's, uh, let's start this day, this, this continuation of our discussion of freedom and bondage and free will and volition and choice. Let's start this day with our intention to truly explore by experimentation these very ideas we are discussing. Dr. Holmes called us spiritual adventurers in the unexplored territory of mind. As we come together today, we ponder, what is this thing we call the divine, this thing we call God? It is beyond intellectual knowing. It is something we only truly embrace with our experience. The ineffableness of love. Perfect love. And as the theologians and the philosophers have wrestled with this idea for eons, perhaps in the essence all we can say is that the divine is. It is the I am of which Moses spoke. It is the isness and the suchness of which the Buddha spoke. But not only is it, it knows that it is. It is self-aware. It is consciousness. It is pure consciousness. As the Tibetan Buddhists say, consciousness aware of itself. The stillness, the isness, the suchness, the I amness. And what we call the activity of consciousness is thought. Thought is a movement within consciousness. And that thought can be directed along any line that the divine chooses. But as it thinks, something happens, something acts upon that thought. So when the divine says, let there be, there is, there is. The command, let there be, is the involution. The unfoldment, according to that word, is the evolution. The divine said, let there be stars and planets and heavens. And over billions and billions of years, the word is evolving. We recognize that this same power that responds to the word of the divine responds to us because we are made of the divine by the divine. We are made in its image and likeness. And as Isaiah said, our words do not return unto his void. We cast our bread upon the waters, they shall return to us. As we think and believe in our hearts, so are we. And as we pray, believing in our hearts that it is so, it is so. So today we commit ourselves to exploring this concept, to exploring this power, to testing it, to refining our ability to work with it 
so that we may see for ourselves that this thing that we call our life is an outpicturing of the sum total of our own beliefs. And if we change our thinking, we change our life. We are grateful for this opportunity to be together today, to share these ideas, to explore these ideas, to take them and make them from our own, for our own, and to test them. We are grateful to know that there is a power in the universe that responds to us according to our belief. And we release this word to that power, knowing that this word, this word for our greater experience, our conscious awareness of the activity of the law in our lives, the law of mind, the law that responds to us, the law of correspondence, is unfolding right now. We release this treatment knowing so certainly it is done that we say together, and so it is. <clears throat>